Well, hello from the living room. <laughs> How you guys doing? Um, this is just unusual. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. Uh, oh my goodness. Hey everybody. Thanks so much for being patient. And thank you for understanding. Hi, Kathy. I don't know who else is here. If you guys are still here. <laughs> so we're going to be going through, um, hi, we're in my living room. <laughs> I don't have an overhead light. There's only lights from the from the windows or whatever. So it's just gonna be a little weird, but I'm gonna switch to this camera, my phone, so we can look in to the, the trunks. And uh, let me just switch that over. Uh, uh, this is the first time I've done this, so bear with me. And we'll do that. There we go. Okay. How's everybody doing? Can you hear me okay? And I, I can't, um, let me see. Let's see if there's any, I don't know if I can see the chat. Oh, there's, so if I look at, hey, Leslie, you're here now. Okay. So I don't know how to go back and forth. So <laughs> there's Uncle Joe. My mom, I mean, me and my husband, and where's my mom? My mom's fine. So. The kids, it's not real joke. So, so anyway, um, my corner curio. All right, so here's uncle. Here's the trunk. I'm going to do my best, the best that I can. I'll check at the chat every so often, but let's just have at it. Um, this. This is number, this is number one, number one. Um, and you'll have to bear with me too. I fell yesterday. I took a big header at, um, in my yard. And uh, I was literally on the ground for like maybe 10 minutes. Not fun. Let's see what we got. I brought down this, this uh, bench has been in my family for God knows how long. It's uh, it's from eighteen fifty or something, eighteen fifty five, and uh, so glad that I have it. So I have this extra container here to put things in if I need to. See. Sorry, but I'm I'm new at this. So <laughs> I don't mean to make you dizzy. I'm uh I'm looking over at the my laptop to see who's in here. What's awesome? <laughs> it's just crazy. All right. So Jordan Mosh closed his tour of Ireland. I'm sure if we look this up, uh, these would be worth money. You know, Noel says everything sells. So, and these are in like perfect condition. Goes over there. And let's see what's in here. So, ooh, what is this? This says Town and King, California, Peruvian. A paca, 50% virgin wool, dry clean only. Oh, it's like a child's. Okay, this box, just so you know, these have been in storage since June of 1971. Um, there was some black mold looking stuff on here. I, I kind of wiped it off the best I could. Um, but yeah, these have been in storage since June of 1971. So we're going to see some really funky things in here. This is in amazing condition. There's no, I don't see any like um, holes or anything. All right. Uh, some of these things he made, I'm thinking he made this. And what's a, 
It's a little, um, move this up a little bit. It's like a vest. Cool. Yeah, he made that definitely. He definitely made this. These are his colors. Oh, look at that. I'm going to keep that one. God, these are in such beautiful shape. I love this color. What is this here? Uh, it's probably not what it says. Oh, you like the graphics? Look at that. Pillow cover sham. Holy 70s, right? And... This is another vest. Um, I'm thinking he made this because, oh yeah, he made this. Amazing. So, so, so talented. I'm gonna check the chat. Can you see the chat? <gasps> Hi, Rebecca. Can you guys hear me okay? All right, I'm starting to have a hot flash. Ooh, isn't this pretty? This will fit me, I think. That is so beautiful. He definitely made this. You know, maybe I'll raffle off some of this, some of these clothes. Yeah. This is like a leotard from the from the seventies. Hello, Shaya. Did he attach these, or is this how it came? Oh no, there's a. So it's, it's, um, it's dance wear, you know, like dancing school or whatever. That is so cool. All right. Oh, there's my, uh, my treadle. I fixed that. That's, it works. Gina, I have so much like. I think he made this too. Let's see. Let's see a, um, a little scratchies. What's this? This is hand woven. This feels like wool. It's not that big. So I'm not quite sure. There's no echoing, right? I'm coming over to check the chat. Check the chat. Yes, just rearranging furniture. We see ourselves. <laughs> um, Sharon, Becky, Rebecca, Lissa. God, thanks for coming in. It is a wicked time capsule, huh? All right. Let's see what else we got? Oh, this is pretty. He definitely made that. So 70s. It's a little, it's a little stain there. I'm sure I could probably sell this on uh, a lot of these things on um what is that? Debop? Yes, what is this? That's Got a lining, and it says made in Italy expressively for William Feline's son and company. Nine percent wool, ten percent nylon. Wow, that's pretty cool. 
All right. Let's see what else is in here. Amber. Bounce knit. Oh, that's cute. It's like a, like a stretchy kind of a weird material. <laughs> Didn't know what it is. We'll get to the kimonos. They, it, my uncle says they're in there, so yes. Yeah, these are in great shape. These don't look brand new. Um, oh, this one's got pink on it from that thing that was on top of it. Say part of the art of Eve, Catalina. That's cute. Let's see, it's got pink on it now. I don't know if you can see the big square on it. <sighs> Look at how's your 70s uh, material? Yeah, that's just that's just material. Here's about oh, Jordan Marsh. Here. Oh, here we go. This is definitely silk. Oh, look at this dress. Oh my god, it's in perfect condition. Uh, there was must have been a tag on there. This is tiny. This is gorgeous. Hold on. Here is a tag in there. Let's pull this down. Is there anything inside here? Oh, there's some snaps. This blue is amazing. I don't see any type of um, I don't see any type of uh, yeah, peacock blue. Um, let's see. Put this back up. This hand stitching right here. You see it? Yeah, that's hand stitched. Wow. Oh, <laughs> in my head, I'm matching up jewelry to these pieces. Oh, my goodness. A sampler and the Indian rug. Let's see. All right. You love old clothes, Becky? The blue is absolutely stunning. Hi, Spirit Junkie. Ah, uh, yeah, you can tell it's handmade. Absolutely. You know what? I have to put you down for just a second. I will be. I will be right back here. Yeah, look at the blue. Look at the blue. Sorry, I had to run and grab something to drink. I'm very parched. I didn't want to take you in the kitchen with me just in case family was in there. Go. Back in the holster. 
Yeah, this is definitely handmade. Stunning. Um, no fading whatsoever in this. I mean, the way he packed things was impeccable. You saw how he, he put it in the bag and then he wrapped it in this, uh, this is like really, I wonder if this is a blanket. He used a lot of like brand new sheets and things from the 70s uh, to wrap a lot of his stuff, I noticed, which now, you know, I'm using those. Um, oh, well, it's just a piece of material, I can see the edges. Um, which now I'm using like a lot of the, the pillow cases and such. All right, let me put this back in here. Yeah, this, I can't believe this has been in here since June of 1971. So that's crazy. Okay, so I'm gonna put, I'll put this one in here. Move this out the way. And let's see what's in here. So these trunks are gonna be, I'm gonna end up selling these trunks. I mean, they're, they're huge. Um, I mean, what am I going to use them for Christmas decorations? Oh, I, actually, I could. So look, this is uh, I, this is like, um, you know, like well, it's just plastic, but I don't know if it's like if you use plastic for like a, if you just bought a roll of plastic or or what? It's all tucked in like perfectly. I'll, you know, I'll never get this back in here, right? Let's see, what are you guys saying? Uh, I still use sheets from the 70s for quilts and purses. Hi, Jason. You're cataloging at a gallery? I need you to catalog some stuff. Look at this. Oh, look at that. You know I'm wearing this. This you know I have to wear this this winter. This is totally gonna fit me. He made this for himself. Oh, look at that! Oh my gosh, it's mine. That will definitely fit. Yay! <laughs> All right. So yeah, in the in the instructions, it did say that there were a lot of sweaters that he made, and then oh, look at this. Look at that pattern. Oh, yeah, he made this too. Oh, the kids would go nuts over this. Right? Cowl neck with that texture, and then he made like the matching. Uh, uh, oh no! Let's see what else is in here. All right. It's a little. I don't know if we made that. It doesn't have a ring. I'll tell you in a second. You, you guys will know. Yeah, he did that. He was so meticulous. I wish he didn't teach me how to knit. Um, we always were going to get around to it, and we never did. Ooh, I like this. You know, I like my black. I don't think that'll fit, though. He definitely made this, too. It's cute. I love the neck. Sorry if I'm moving around too much. Oh, look at this vest. Look at the, these brass, they're like brass buttons. Yeah, he made this. Look at the lining. Look at how we did that.
It looks like, like a tuxedo uh, with our suit. That's really cool. All right, what's this one? Wow, he did this. Yeah. Wow. It's like a neighbor. Na uh, what do you call that neighbor, right? And then this lining. Like neighbor jackets up. Those were all the rage back then. This is heavy. Weighs a lot. Ooh, gloves. Some of the stuff I can um I can raffle off to you guys too if you guys are interested. These are nice gloves. What are we saying? Uh, you love. What do you love? Most important thing is to protect the stuff from moths. Well, he apparently did. Yeah, don't they look really warm and cozy? All right. Oh, look. I'm sure people would love this, huh? Made in France. Colors. I love, I love, this is beautiful. Oh, there you go. We made that out of. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. How adorable is that? Over here, like this. That looks like a big sock. Remember the socks that were crocheted, and then then they had the little lace. You lace them up. <gasps> Look at these little gloves. These are really everything is in like perfect shape. All right, going down to the next level. 70s calling. Um, let me see, I don't know if I can get the chat on, on my phone here. Let's see if I... Rebecca, Peruvian. Hmm. Yeah, Peruvian specialized by an uncle. You love to knit? I'm gonna go back to the, actually, I don't need to, yeah. Chat back up. Thanks. You've motivated me to phone close while I watch. Kathy, you have no idea how much fabric I have. And uh, I think this is not just fabric. I, oh, no, it is. I thought maybe it was a sheet. Oh, it could be a sheet. That's a good bulk of it, too. Yeah, it's a sheet. So he'll have the whole the whole thing here. We'll see how it has uh, this piece here. It's really sheets. Oh, and nice and you know thick. Right. So here's the bottom. See, I told you you have everything. Yep. Here's the bottom sheet. Elastic is still good. And then here's the 
pillowcases. Yeah, I think he uh, he definitely went out and bought a bunch of um, you know uh, sets like this. He must have got them at uh, Filene's basement or something, and he used them to pack. Yeah, now I have the whole set for that. You know, I love my purple. What is this? Kit bag. Made in England. Uh, import section. Design. That is a cool design. This. It's just a paper bag. This is part of Mona stuff. Oh, it's a purse. Ah, damn it. Ready? This is all silk. That is so cool. What is this? What is this? It's a little, it's the original uh, Phoebe pack. <laughs> There's a pocket there, nothing in there. I mean, I think these open. It's all handmade. Really much. It's coin or well, that's the original painting card. Look at that. But right, you know, I gotta check all the pockets just in case. Oh, well, you never know. This is amazing. It does have some wear, obviously, but check this other other pocket here. Not funny. Shaped like a fanny pack and everything. This is uh, a little bit and. Uh, there, it says five cents. It says five cents. I can't see if you can you see. No. Five cents, Hong Kong. All right. That there, in our other little purse. Okay. So, this is made in China. It's got placemat kind of thing. Definitely faded, but it's all that's that's silk and it's all hand embroidered. So this material, he must have bought a bunch of this because he used this to pack too. There. What a beautiful teal color. Liberty, Liberty Manufacturing. Made in Hong Kong. Goes up really high. Maybe he was redoing it. Maybe you know.
I know somebody can finish it off though. Beautiful teal color. Oh, my back is killing me. Just growing through. Hi, Doug Doug. Thanks for coming in. I think they put the bean pack under the clothes for bad eagles. I think so too. Yeah, I know that they used to wear a lot of the Chinese um, dresses in like the 50s and 60s. That was a big thing. Here's some paper. There. All right. This is just a bit of fabric. Okay, here we go. Uh, wait, look at these. Wait, oh, he put fragrant sandalwood log. Oh, yeah, still smells like sandalwood. One of his favorite scents. What's in here? <gasps> <gasps> Look! Well, this looks like it's Victorian. Cellulite, or this could be amber, this could be, I don't know. This could be a lot of different things. I have to test it. Oh, oh, did I bring my, um, I think I brought my. <gasps> That's amber, look at it. It's glowing. Can you see it glow? It's definitely glowing. There's a seam there. There's that a crack. I don't know. I think it's a crack. If you look up close. Yeah, that's a crack. It's not a seam. Yeah, this is this is uh oh, beautiful. All right, so that was those were wrapped in there. Um I have a lot of hair stuff like this that I have to I have to list and show you. Excuse me, and show you guys. I know I showed you a few things. Ooh. He's there. Don't want to lose that. Holy moly. Oh, and that's why they don't have any moss. Isn't that pretty? Okay. Ooh, what's that? Oh, this is sandal. This smells like sandalwood too. Isn't that cute? I like that. Do you put it in your um, uh, with your, uh, your closet? It says something. Wait a minute. This is made in China here. It's like wicker. Oh, <gasps> tiny feet. It's as big as my hand. Fabulous sheep. Oh, let's get some writing on them.
Well, listen, if you want more hair pieces, I have a ton. Uncle made his own hair pieces. Let's look at this. This. This is very long. This is definitely a kimono. Um, Like I can, this has a little bit of staining on it. I don't know if that was there before. Definitely silk. Um, this is a pattern on the um, on the material. This isn't. That's not an embroidered. I thought maybe it should be. This is beautiful, huh? These are in impeccable shape. Okay. Well, the vibrant ones are going to be the ones that are probably worth more money. Ooh, black. Black and yellow? This is definitely silk. Size the large. Oh, it's very long. What the hell is this? If there's any other you know, markings or tags. It's beautiful. The bumblebee. <laughs> Um, there's always going to be jewelry involved. Okay, Doug, Doug. I'm trying to do something different today. You know what I mean? Let's see. Let's do this one. Ooh, wait a minute. It's like a fuchsia. Oh my goodness. Um, I think this is uh, it's like some sort of a wrapped wrap around kind of a skirt. Maybe this goes with um, I don't know. I don't know much about kimonas, so but this is definitely me here. This is all can't look at all this embroidery. And this is before embroidery machines, guys. It's lovely work. Lovely work. So I'm thinking that this is part of a kimono, maybe it's a part of you know a layer or some sort. Guys, you can say in the uh in the chat what you think it is i'm never going to get everything back in the way the way uncle had it hmm? like refolding a map can you ever get it back the right way where you guys having a good time? Hi, Julie. Um, you know nothing about uh, you know nothing about them either, do you, Doug? Beautiful flowers. Trying to catch up the chat. It's just yeah, it's a type of skirt. 
I wish I could ask my mother in law, she would know. Okay. The material's amazing. Okay. Let's see what else we got. So this is, oh, wait, let's step under there. So let's, let's go to this side. Oh, he. Oh my goodness, look at the plastic is like literally disintegrating. See that? Um, I'm gonna have to put you down because that's gonna stop flying all over my house. So I'm going to grab, um, let's put this up here. You're going right inside of here. I'll be right back. I'm gonna grab a bag because that's gonna disintegrate everywhere. I just grabbed some um, zipper bags too for those uh, hair things. And um, yeah, the last time I opened something and it had that plastic that fell apart, it was in my lungs. So um, let me put you back in. There we go. Try to get this in here. It, it just like disintegrates. Let me put what they in here and try to. This all in one group if I can. Oh. It's going to be all these little. All righty. Yeah, the last time it was, it was not good. Okay, so these couple of things were in here were in the plastic. So. That's my house phone. I still have a landline. That's made in Japan. Make sure that I I'm gonna have to put you down again. I'll have to give my husband a message. I am so sorry. This is just all, this is just all new to me. I'll, I'll get the hang of it just like, uh, like Jan did. <laughs> all right, give me one sec. Just, just now we call. So you might want to call from your cell phone. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You don't know how to do that. Okay. Um. Hey guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry guys. <laughs> My fault. No, it's good. Let's see. Oh, your mother-in-law is Japanese. That's awesome, Julie. It is smart, Julie. 
I love, I, I have my daughter and the box necklace and abalone brooch for her birthday and she loved it. <gasps> oh, that's awesome, Julie. I'm so glad that she loved it. All right, let's get back to this crazy look in. Oh my God. Now this is what I think of when I think of a kimono. Ready? There's the, I need to see the back. Oh my God. I'm gonna lay this out so you can see the back. Do you see it? It's black silk. Oh, look at the butterfly. Oh, this is gorgeous. You hold it up. So the inside is yellow. This is in fabulous shape. You know, all that you can tell this is handmade too. And it just says made in Japan. I'm sure that's a specific um, to this tag is probably specific to a, a place that they made it. This is just, oh. Alrighty. I don't even know what to do. This is just so intense. Oh, look at these. It's like teardrops of some sort of. The work is amazing. Okay. So what I was reading up, that the black one is worn by, um, uh, to a wedding by a male or a black. So the most important colors, I guess, are uh, green. I mean, you know, for money, I guess. And then I think it was white. And then blue. A black, I guess, is supposed to be uh, a good color as well. This one is, this one feels different, but it's more of a, like a raw silk. And this is a pattern on the raw silk. Oh, there is some hand embroidery on this. I'm trying to make it so you guys can see. So it's not just a pattern on the, it's the embroidered onto Let's open this one up. Oh, I'm upside down. So the inside is a bright, great red. See any type of we don't see any type of uh tag anywhere. I'll turn it around to see the back. This is kind of like a almost like a champagne color. So this is not like a formal one. This is just I don't know. I don't know the difference. I'm not gonna pretend I do, but this is not as intricate as like like that last black one. But yeah look you can see how they to the embroidery. Ooh, that's that's more than embroidery. That's what's that? Um, do you see it? It's like they showed this on there, and I don't know. I don't know what that is. Stick or. Yeah. Interesting. I'm sure it's something traditional. He's right. beautiful. All right. Oh, 
The workmanship is great, gorgeous. You would wear it as a coat, nice. You have to be going, Doug Doug. How are you feeling? I hope you're feeling okay. Yeah, I don't know how long. Um, I don't know how long I'm going to be on. Have a great, have a great day. The colors for the '60s from the last one. This one, yeah. Okay. Let's see what's in here. Drum roll. Oh. Yeah, that's that's ivory. Unfortunately, it's ivory. You know, it's obviously not something that I, I like, but. Made in Japan. But this, this trunk has been uh, sealed since June of 1971, or well, before that, because, you know, it had to be sealed before it went into storage. But this has been in storage since June of 1971. Um, before the stuff was outlawed. Mm. I remember when I was a little girl, I had a thing called a happy coat, which I think maybe this is a happy coat. Yes, it is. And um, I still have it in storage somewhere. It's like one of the few things I have when I was a little girl. It's like a short coat and uh, it's cute. The material is beautiful. It's like a navy, it's a navy blue silk. And oh, there's a little frame right there. I don't see. I don't see me. Uh, me. <clears throat> Pads or anything like that. Oh, the trunks up me is good luck. Yeah. I just get sad when I. Oh, it's a little piece of that plastic. Stuff I, I swear I like I'm like paranoid that I'm gonna inhale it because um when I had opened a box before it just kind of went poof everywhere and I was freaking out. What's this? It's a pillowcase. It is a silk pillowcase. Mm, little ripped there. Snap there. I wonder if he made this. Oh, that is all hand embroidered. I'm going to try to get near the sun here. This is, I'm just going to try to get close. Let me, it's too close. Some of the, uh, some of the colors have run, but See the stitching? That's just nuts. It's gorgeous. It's so sad that it there's some um, um you know some of the colors have like spread it out. This is a silk 
paisley like a tie or a, maybe for um, a belt or a dress or but this is definitely definitely silk that plastic I'm gonna go to this one here Yeah, some of uh, not as fancy list for over six hundred. I see the embroidered split skirt as Chinese. Well, Uncle said in the book. I actually left the book upstairs, but Uncle said that um, some of the stuff is Chinese and uh, Japanese kimonos and Chinese robes and such. Oh, that's beautiful. that plastic again. I'm gonna this is it it doesn't fall in part of the other um, kind of a little more give to it. The, um, that with the red so it didn't run. That's well, kind of like a little happy coat, I guess they call it. Um, I don't know. Yeah. He says 100% rayon made in Japan. It's just like thick. It feels like um, upholstery almost. So it's that thick. I put these together for a reason, so I'm going to try to get these together. Here. I'm sure the other the property of this shoe is in here. This is like a velveteen or um, a lore. There's like this also is very thick. Not pretty. Are these pants? Oh my goodness. Um, I don't know anybody's waist that is that thick. These are a pair of pants. Mr. Pants. There is only one Mr. Pants. Okay. Is that was a thing. These are, this is like, oh, geez. Oh, <sighs> you just want to bend. So it has, I don't know, it's tiny little things. Um, the pants, maybe somebody can look that up. <sighs> One in the boudoir. Ah, what are those kind of skirts? All right, so this is the other thing that was in with the uh, Mr. Pants <laughs> and black happy coat. <gasps> This is tiny, look how tiny it is. Oh my God. All right, I, I, that's ridiculous. Who's that small? I mean, my elbow to my wrist is wider than the waist on this. <laughs> huh.
This is the this is like from the fifties, I would say. Tiny, tiny little thing. Let's see if there's any cats. Mm -hmm. I mean, this stuff is like all brand new. Pristine. Really is pristine. I don't see it tag anywhere. This is handmade. Hmm. I think it was handmade. Amazing. Beautiful, beautiful material. Sometimes, like just like jewelry, he would buy um, uh, things down in Feline's basement, and then he would, um, you know, deconstruct them and make something out of it that he he really enjoyed. So God only knows what his plans were for this piece. I'm gonna wipe the uh, ones here. That's any better. This, this is, we've got we've got a ways to go. Oh, what's that? The back scratcher. Little hand carved. Another one. Cool. What is this? <gasps> Uncle, what was he doing? This is like a a reed or a piece of um, what's it called? Um, bamboo, but I think it's a bamboo. I wonder if the, I'm going to have to test these. I wonder if this is sterling. We just have, I don't know. What's he been smoking? <laughs> so that's funny. It goes up there. All right. Uncle didn't smoke, by the way. He, uh, he was like, he would say he's allergic. Oh, what was that? That's a bone. That this is bone. This is heavy. It looks like it's a uh, like a shoehorn, but this is this is heavy. I almost like dropped it because it's gross. <laughs> Crazy. Opium pipe? I don't think I'm going to get opium. Let's get this one. Okay, let's get a name. S. Namura. I'll have to look this one up later. Um, very little um, brain there. This is definitely all silk. And is there embroidery over the pattern? I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, because if this is fraying, you can see all the hand stitching. I'm gonna fold this one immediately back up. So, 
to get caught or hurt on anything. You're watching old Chalichi. Okay. This way. Again. Oh, stuck to my window. This one looks like it's a whole mural. Go. Oh, it's purple. When it was down there, it didn't look purple, did it? Okay, so I was told that that's like the family crest is usually up near the top like that. Oh my goodness, okay. So they do it like in the back of the neck and then um, up on each shoulder. That's from what I was told. So this is the first one that actually looks like something out of but um, when I was looking things up. I mean, the mural goes on the inside as well. And then they embroidered over the scenery. Turns around. Oh my. Okay, it's mostly in the front then. Oh, these are beautiful. This is this is heavy. Stop sliding down. To change the bottom. <sighs> right. Hey, Leanne, thanks for coming in. What is this? Oh, my little pants. <laughs> that was cute. These are all hand embroidered as well. One hundred percent silk. Holy moly! How long have we been? How long have we been on here? Let's look over here. Oh, it's been an hour and 10 minutes. You guys having a, an okay time? Is this uh, is this what you thought it would be? Because this is more than what I thought it would be. It would be interesting, but wow. There's another um, tie like the other one, like the paisley one we just found. Together yeah, with that one. Well, 
Wow. So this looks more like the stuff that they were wearing in the 60s and 70s. And um, love the buttons. Yeah, beautiful stitching. There's the tags. And this is like a very pale blue. And yeah. This is Chinese, I would think. Hmm. Holy moly. Oh, I don't know if I can make it through all this stuff. Ooh, what's that? Of course, I have to skip. <laughs> it's a little vest. Those are like pieces of mirror in there. Becky, you're having a blast watching good. Oh, I'm just taking a minute here. Watch the flower. I'm going to have to watch uh, this back and look at the uh, chat and stuff. Look at this. Isn't this cool? This reminds me of like Mexico. Silk inside. This is like a little kid's as well. So that's pieces of. That's pieces of. Uh, um, Mera. Crazy. All right. Boy, where's my I'm parched? <sighs> okay. You see, you. These. Put little. Let's put leather. Made in British Hong Kong. I've never heard of it. British Hong Kong before, have you guys? Made in British Hong Kong. Never heard that. These are brand new old socks, I guess. Yeah, he just shoved this in there to keep it warm. It's really cute. Yeah. All right. I'm going to go as long as I can, guys, but my back is really screaming. It's, that is, um, wow. This is uh, ivory. 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 They're all ivory. 
after all, I do. Crochet hook. And crochet hook. This feels like bone. Very tiny. Um, is this a quill? Oh, this is another pearl. I'm going to set this stuff down over here. And that's another pearl. And I'm wondering if this is like, you know, a quill for, you know, writing. That's what I'm thinking it is. I'm going to put the pearl down the end. Ah. Uh, Pieces. That seems like horn. All carved um, ivory. This is bone. I don't think this is ivory. Yeah, this one's bone. Let's go on the light. I know some of this stuff is grooming stuff, so um, is that the Mother Mary and the child uh, carved out of Mother of Pearl? And then this says, oh, it's uh, Anna D. Bo something. Somebody's name. Tony Patano. How are you doing, sweetie? I, I try not to say your name out loud. Miss you, honey. You don't need a break. You're back. We can wait for another episode. <laughs> Lindsay, hi. Uh, what are in the trunks? Yes, I heard of British Hong Kong. I didn't know that. Uh, Tell me, I have a ton. Look at all these. I have like a whole thing of kimonos here. And I'm still going through this. Uh, I'm doing a jam. I, I'm, <laughs> I put my phone on my on my phone bra here. Ooh, what is that? Oh, that's a little icky. So I think this is a, you know, a quill. I'm not, you know, for writing. Look at that, that's a claw. Actually, that may be, that might be tortoise shell. Um, where's my, oh, there it is. Okay, this is lighting up, so I don't know if it's um, amber or tortoiseshell or what. Usually, because this is the, um, like a four-way, this is like uh, outside light, inside light, you know, like if you're looking at, um, uh, Alexandrite ring. So it's just outside, inside. Yeah. I'm working. I'm doing it, Tony. <laughs> um, now I just got to sell it all. It would be great if I could, if somebody, um, oh, what, a, what a costume person would do with all this stuff. They would be so happy. Oh, what's here? What's here? What's here? What's here? What's that? What's 
Anyone? I don't know if that's Jade. Could be. But there's a whole bunch of these. Do they hang from buttons or some sort of decoration? I know that this not um that's just the meaning. There's a whole bunch of these though. I'm wondering if these used to be red, now they're just orange. Um, a museum here that specializes in fabric. I have no idea. There's a lot of museums in Boston, so um, just trying to get a hold of the right person. I wonder if this is like a commoner's type garb. Still feels like silk. The robe or is it Chinese robe? No. Interesting. I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. That. Okay. That's weird. It's a uh, metal chain, and then it says cotton, but this is made out of uh, mother of pearl. Weird. This would make a good law for a high-end auction house. Well, I am affiliated with uh, actually my auction is going on right now at uh, Skinner of Boston. I have the link on uh, in my Instagram, and I think I put it. I think I put it in my. Um, Community page. I forget if I did or not, but um, you have to like. Oh, I did it on Facebook. Facebook, you can just hit the link, but uh, I think on Instagram, you have to like cut and paste or copy and paste into your browser, and um, all my pieces will magically magically show up. I've got a, I've got six pieces uh, at Skinner Bottom, Boston right now. Another, another pearl piece. Any of these? It's a lot of these. Goodness. Uncle, what were you doing with all this stuff? Oh, oh, what is this? Here's another one of these. What is this? It looks brass. Is that like a, um, a handle for something? One in there. The letter opener. I don't know. Oh, what is this? It's all fuzzy. What is it? What is it? 
maybe a tack with some clothes rack. Oh, I'm stand up straight. My neck is hurting. Specialist conservation fiber. <gasps> Andover. That's not too bad. So, what is this? This is like hurry. Press the button. Mm -hmm. Ta da. Thinking it's a, um, a fan. No. Oh, <gasps> my goodness. It is a quill. And that's Mother of Pearl. I wonder if that's gold. The souvenir. So those other ones that I said was I thought was a quill, I was right. Because it's the same top here. They just didn't have this part. It does have a name on the top there. I can't see it right now. That's amazing though. It just has its own uh, case. That's so cool. And it's fuzzy, it's a fuzzy case. Whew. We're gonna have to uh, get going soon. Thanks so much for that uh, link, Kathy. I really, really appreciate it. I'm I'm really sorry now. Uh, I I don't know if if you were here when I said um, you know I fell yesterday out in the yard. So hard. This is silk. This is all being embroidered. Beautiful work. Yeah, I'm going to have to get a hold of somebody because, you know, what am I going to do with all this stuff? I don't want it. Um, I mean, the stuff that he made, that's a whole different thing. But, like, all of these kimonos and things, what am I going to do with it? There was one dress, I don't even think it would fit my my leg, let alone me. <laughs> Um, it seemed like velvet, but it was like, it was more like a shag. It was thicker. It was longer than the regular. Um, hi, Jane. Thanks for coming in. It was like longer than a regular velvet over the team. Yeah, I, I fell hard. My whole knee is swollen. You can see the cut here. This is all swollen. Look at it. Um, yeah, I felt hard. And, uh, you know, I just had that surgery back in May, so uh, March. I might have to end it here and then maybe go through some more later on or um, uh, you twist your ankle Sunday. I need to. I'm gonna switch back. Plus, my phone is down to like 23 percent. Okay, let's do. Uh, this. Do this. Do this. Get away from the Mia cam. Oh, yeah. Look, I got a bruise on my face too. Smash my face. Not fun. So, okay. We went through a lot. We went through a lot. Um, I don't even know what to think about all this stuff. It's really amazing. Um, yeah, hopefully you feel better, Kathy. I Falling is not fun. So, yeah, my neck... Nick is swollen again and 
So I'm going to go ice. I'm going to go sit and ice. My husband's going to be pissed because I have everything like spread out. But if I have to, I'll continue to go through um, in a while. I'll continue to go through this trunk and I'll just video it um, or maybe come back on live again. But I do need a break. Uh, it's been an hour and a half. I, I've been standing all this time and my lower lumbar, when I fell on my right leg first, and um, it's on asphalt. I fell on asphalt in my backyard. And uh, so like this arm is still is because I fell this way and I smashed my face. And um, but when I hit my right knee first, you know, it, it you know, I have two hip replacements and then the neck fusion in the back. And my lower lumbar is, is screaming right now. Uh, I'm going to ice. Uh, heat is not good when you first have an injury because it in, it increases blood flow to the swelling. So I'm going to I'm going to uh, I'm going to ice. Uh, let's see what else. Uh oh, there goes my phone again. Yeah. So we'll I'll try to um, maybe I'll go live later on for a little while. Yeah. I I really I really. myself in we're here with me and each other and um thanks so much and if you're watching back later and you haven't yet um subscribed please do give me the thumbs up if you can uh that's all free <laughs> and uh stay tuned for some more stuff from from the trunks 70 the uh so 1971 81 91 2001 11 21 50 Oh my God, 52 years old, almost as old as me. Love you guys and uh, talk to you soon. Have a great rest of your day. Be kind to one another and be kind to yourself. It's important. Bye y'all.